Yeah, we have another interesting piece of firearms history to show you today. This is a test bed for caseless ammunition. This was developed, this particular model was developed by the, the Hughes company, uh, same company that developed the, uh, the, the heli gun, which we have a little bit of information on in the vault. Uh, Hughes did a lot of weapons testing and development in the 60s and 70s. So this is a particularly neat piece of firearms equipment here. First of all, let's take a look at the magazine. Our cartridges, this, these are dummy cartridges, but this is a caseless cartridge. So it's a round solid pellet of powder with a bullet encased in the center. Our magazine is gonna hold a stack of these and it's actually completely enclosed at the top. So to load it, I'm gonna pull down the thumb piece, drop a cartridge in, like so. And the way the gun works, they've made uh, some of these components out of clear plastic so that we can see through them and watch how it operates. What's going to happen, our magazine sits here. I'm gonna leave it out, sorry, backwards. Sits right there. We're gonna leave it out for the moment. This is a gas operated gun. So there's a, a gas port here on top of the barrel and a, a spring and gas piston up here. When we pull this back, this is our breech block right back here. It's also made out of clear plastic and it slides up and down. So when I have this all the way back, the breech block drops down and you can see this piston right down here is connected to the gas piston and it's actually going to push a cartridge or a, a caseless cartridge out directly backwards from the magazine into the breech. Then when this comes forward, you can see this cam groove pulls the breech up. And we now have a cartridge directly in line with our barrel. Isn't that kind of cool? There is of course no ejection port because these are caseless rounds so there's nothing left after you fire that needs to be ejected. Pretty neat system. Would we be really weird for thinking that this would be a cool gun to design for a regular cased cartridge? Because it looks like we could make it work. I'm not sure why we'd want to well, I know why we'd want to, because it's neat. I'm not sure if it would present any particular advantage over a more standard system, but it sure would be neat to find out, wouldn't it? We have a problem, we know it. That's the first step, right? Thanks for watching, guys.